so in this video lecture we are going to provision a s3 bucket basically we are going to create a s3 bucket using the terraform so i am going to uh, open this uh, url and for you guys and uh, let me copy this code piece of code i will tell you what exactly this code is doing and we will uh, create a s3 bucket for us so let me say s3 dot pf this file I copy pasted the code so here you can see the resources the resources then we are putting the name which resources we want to be create okay so please remember uh, whenever uh, you are going to create any new resources into the s uh, you know aws you need to put uh, this keyword the resources okay so resources means you are creating something new all right then you need to define like uh, kind of service you want to be create so since we are going to create a service which is s3 bucket so we need to define like this aws s3 bucket this is a kind of you know predefined module for aws and uh, the b is uh, just a you know key name this is nothing you can put anything okay i put it here the bucket this is just a key name okay then the bucket name what kind of bucket you it is the name of your uh, you know newly created bucket so it is uh, this one let me edit it i am going to put something for me my terraform smart bucket then this is the optional acl you want to be uh, it is a public or it should the bucket should be the public or bucket should be the private this is the optional thing so i want to my bucket should be you know in the private so i put it the acl which is a private then i am uh, tagging it uh, the resources okay the name is my bucket and environment is dev you can put anything like the test or anything this is the tag just for uh, you know uh, when the billing comes you should uh, aware about what exactly it is okay so this only five six line of codes we're going to create uh, your uh, bucket in the s3 let's create it first you need to run a command terraform in it so basically this command uh, what exactly this command will do this command will download uh, all the you know dependencies uh, to run this terraform code you can see here it is initializing the provider plugins right so since we are using it the aws as a provider so it is uh, downloaded the plugin which is 217.0 so now initialization is completed basically it is downloaded the plugin so initialization is completed let's plan it plan is uh, just something like uh, before going you are creating anything you are making sure uh, what exactly you know you will get at the end result so you can see here uh, i will uh, have a bucket of the s3 and uh, that bucket name is going to be this one and uh, the status of the acl is the private the other things is also here like uh, these all are the you know uh, you can define if you have some custom you know requirement so this all uh, s3 is supported so you can use it you can use those things all right so once your plan is done just apply it so it is going to apply this particular plan whatever the plan you are here now so basically in this plan uh, you are able to uh, before going to create you are just going to verify what exactly the end result will be let's put the reason which is a default one Perfect. So you can see here the apply completed and uh, one resource is added. Right, zero is uh, under the destroy and uh, nothing is changed. All right. So let's check our uh, S3 bucket is created or not. You can see here uh, my newly created S3 bucket is available for me. Okay. If I am going to update uh, this code, uh, one more thing before going to update or do anything uh, 
Yes, you can see here the dot terraform is a directory and the terraform is tf state uh, is a file. So dot terraform is basically uh, a directory which is uh, created once we you run the terraform in it. Okay, so under it uh, you will find the plugins, right? Uh, the plugin which is the AWS plugin for your provider and uh, the tf state file is basically this file have have uh, you know your existing state existing state means like uh, what is the name of the you know uh, bucket you have created okay the resource name and the arn and everything is uh, available here you can see this is the status of my bucket it is a private one and uh, this is the arn of my bucket this is the name of the bucket so all the details about the bucket right the hosted zone everything id right, everything is uh, available into the tf state so this is basically the terraform state file okay so if uh, uh, one more thing you need to be noted down if you have removed the tf state file from here right you can't be you know uh, run the plan again because at every time when you are running the terraform plan it is going to create a tf state file if it is already created then it is going to read the tf state file first then other actions will going to be executed how we can create a terraform sorry we are we can create a s3 bucket using the terraform in the next lecture we are going to discuss how we can launch a s uh, you know ec2 instance using the terraform Thank you.